Welcome to this September 24th, 2020 virtual public meeting for the SH-34 Feasibility Study. Textile Dallas District Engineer Mo Burr recognizes the importance of this study and appreciates your time and interest. This presentation will be available until Friday, October 9, 2020. We recognize there is a lot of information presented in this video and you have the option to pause, rewind, and move forward as needed within your video player. TxDOT is conducting this virtual public meeting to avoid in-person contact. The presentation will cover the same information the Dallas District would share at an in-person public meeting. However, the comment process will be different. Details on how to submit a comment and have your questions addressed will be covered later in this presentation. All study information can be found on the TxDOT website. Today, we will provide background information on the purpose of the study share the analysis of different alignments considered and present the recommended alignment. We will also share next steps and opportunities for you to share your comments. While comments are always welcome, they must be received on or before Friday, October 9th, 2020 to be included in the meeting report. Responses to your statements and comments will be included in the public meeting documentation and given full consideration while preparing the final recommendations. During the next phase of this project, a NEPA document will be produced along with a preliminary design schematic. There are several steps in the feasibility study process. We are here today to present the recommended alignment and roadway configuration, also known as the typical section. Next, we will finalize the study and produce the SH-34 feasibility study report. After the study is completed, the next steps will be to develop the SH-34 roadway schematic design, conduct environmental analysis, and further public involvement to determine the specific SH-34 roadway design and right-of-way dimensions. The feasibility study began with an area in Kaufman County, outlined in blue, to improve safety and mobility on SH-34 and address traffic flow concerns due to the growth of Carroll, Hoffman, and surrounding cities. The approximately 20-mile section of SH-34 included in the study is from FM-2578 in Terrell to SH-243 in Kaufman. The study examines and evaluates environmental and engineering constraints, route options, and traffic projections. This feasibility study also considered safety and mobility, population growth, environmental impacts, costs, and public input when considering potential alignments and improvements. The population in Kaufman County is projected to grow 83% by the year 2040, and SH-34 is projected to have about 25,000 vehicles per day, including heavy truck traffic, by 2045. The existing SH-34 roadway configuration consists of one travel lane in each direction with shoulders and an existing right-of-way varying along the corridor between 80 and 120 feet. There have been previous feasibility studies conducted within this study area. In 1996, a feasibility study was performed by TxDOT and four alternatives were evaluated. The recommended alignment was an old railroad corridor and a southern connection around the west side of Kaufman, shown in light blue and green on the map. In 2006, another feasibility study was performed by TxDOT and 11 alignments were identified. The recommended alignment, shown in orange, was ultimately added to the Kaufman County Thoroughfare Plan. The Kaufman County 2035 Thoroughfare Plan identifies existing SH-34 as a principal arterial, shown here in blue with yellow highlight. The plan also identifies a proposed principal arterial to the west and adjacent to existing SH-34, shown as a dotted red line, which was the 2006 Feasibility Studies Recommended Alignment. This brings us to the current Feasibility Study, which began in 2018 with eight alternatives. The assessments began with an evaluation that provided a framework through which alternative alignments could be analyzed. The comparative analysis determined how well the alternative alignments addressed the study purpose and minimized adverse impacts to the human and natural environments of the project area. The eight alternatives were created with a rural, high-speed roadway configuration 
to include a design speed of 70 miles per hour, allowing for improved sight distance, and a wide median with a ditch. Alignments chosen included existing SH-34 and seven new locations. These routes were presented to local municipalities in spring 2018 and to the public in summer 2018 at a public meeting. Each alignment alternative had various engineering and environmental effects as shown in the evaluation matrix. The eight alternative alignments and this matrix were presented. Based on technical analysis and public input, three of the alternatives were selected to move forward for further evaluation and study. Light blue, brown, and yellow. All options would be built in new locations that tie into existing SH-34 in Terrell and Kaufman. The three selected alternatives had a four-lane rural highway configuration. It includes two lanes in each direction, shoulders, and a 76-foot wide median, and a right-of-way width of 250 feet. The design speed is 70 miles per hour. TechDOT soon recognized that improving existing SH-34 needed to remain on the table. This led to a re-evaluation of the proposed design plans for existing SH-34. Considering the impacts that the proposed 250-foot right-of-way width would have on the human and natural environments, the team decided to move forward with adjusting the roadway configuration from a high-speed rural configuration to an urban one. This proposed configuration has a right-of-way width of 140 feet, two travel lanes in each direction, curb and gutter, and a median with space to expand to six lanes in the future, and a design speed of 45 miles per hour. These four alternatives moved forward for further evaluation. Each alignment alternative carried forward has various engineering and environmental effects as shown in the table. This table illustrates the number of potential impacts to properties for each of the selected alternatives. One of the major constraints identified was the amount of new right-of-way acreage to be acquired for each of the alternatives. The dark blue option requires an additional 76 acres of right-of-way to be acquired the length of the roadway, while the light blue, yellow, and brown options require over 200 acres on new location alignments. The right-of-way needed along existing SH-34 is much less compared to the other alternatives. However, the blue alternative alignment also requires the most displacements of the four alternatives. Approximately 21 residential and three commercial. In addition, the southern segments of the dark blue and yellow alternatives would displace the most residential properties as they approach Kaufman. Environmental impacts for each of the alternatives included potential impacts to the 100-year floodplain, park properties, and hazmat sites. Socioeconomic impacts were also considered. All four alternative alignments would satisfy future travel demand for the year 2045 and would reduce the risk of crashes. The four alternative alignments would also enhance mobility and safety and support the future regional economic growth of Kaufman County. The estimated total project cost for each alternative, including the no-build option, is shown here and broken down by category. The yellow alternative has the lowest total cost, followed by the blue alternative. If a new location was chosen to move forward as the recommended alignment, existing SH-34 would remain in service. Therefore, the maintenance cost for the no-build, light blue, brown, and yellow alternatives all include the maintenance cost for existing SH-34. This includes regular overlays and other routine maintenance costs, such as mowing and guardrail and pothole repair. The maintenance cost for the blue, urban reconstruction of existing SH-34 is the lowest of the four. This is because the pavement life of a newly reconstructed roadway is anticipated to be 30 years. This requires less time, money, and material than is required to maintain existing SH-34. The yellow alternative is relatively shorter than the other alignment alternatives and is a main factor in the low construction cost. The light blue option has a higher construction cost 
due to the long bridge connection to US-175, since the new location alternatives could be constructed while maintaining traffic, these routes minimize temporary or throwaway pavement and enhance economies of scale for construction. Since both the yellow and blue alternative options utilize the southern segment of SH-34 north of SH-243, the estimated row costs for both include relocation costs. The blue alternative also includes displacements and impacts within the town of Oak Ridge. Based on technical analysis and feedback from community leaders and the public, the recommended alignment is to reconstruct and widen existing SH-34 from FM 2578 in Terrell to SH 243 in Kaufman. The roadway configuration would be similar to the Kaufman Bypass and accommodate four travel lanes and include shoulders. The urban roadway configuration would have a design speed of 45 miles per hour and is proposed to ship side to side along the existing alignment to minimize impacts and to improve existing horizontal curvature of the roadway. It also accommodates an increase in local and heavy truck traffic and provides enough room for a future expansion to six lanes. The recommended alignment and typical section will be used in the next stage of project development. Next steps include roadway schematic design and environmental clearance, followed by right-of-way acquisition, construction plan design, and utility coordination and relocations, and finally, construction. Please note the listed timeframes would begin once the feasibility study ends and are subject to change. While comments are always welcome, they must be received on or before Friday, October 9, 2020 to be included in the meeting report. Responses to your comments will be included in the public meeting documentation and given full consideration while preparing the final recommendations. You can submit comments through the following four methods. Mail in your comments to the Textile Dallas District, attention Stephen Endress, PE, 4777 East Highway 80, Mesquite, Texas, 75150. You can email your comments to stephen.endress at txdot.gov. That is S-T-E-P-H-E-N dot E-N-D-R-E-S at txdot.gov. You can also give a verbal comment by calling 469-595-7063 and leaving a message or you can comment online by visiting www.keepitmovingdallas.com slash sh34. For general questions about the presentation or the project, please contact the Textile Project Manager at stephen.endress at txdot.gov. That is s-t-e-p-h-e-n dot e-n-d-r-e-s at txdot.gov. The informational study materials prepared by the SH-34 Feasibility Study Team are available for inspection and reproduction by visiting www.keepitmovingdallas.com slash sh34. That's www.keepit M-O-V-I-N-G-D-A-L-L-A-S dot com slash SH-34. The information found at this website is the same information presented in this video. Thank you for taking the time to provide your input and help shape the future of SH-34 in Kaufman County.